the immense public interest that this matter has generated, and being the first of its kind in Kenya, where the Deputy President of the Republic is being removed by process of imprisonment, it is my considered opinion that this matter deserves the input of a bench so as to pronounce itself on the process that is constitutionally compliant to serve as a benchmark for future undertakings of this nature. It is necessary for this citizenry of this country to know whether the current state of law allows adequate opportunity to participate meaningfully in the process of removal of their deputy president. There was also the question whether the allegations subject to an impeachment should be circulated to the public or, or sorry, should be circulated to the public with or without the response of the person being impeached, and if the absence of including the response that if, if the action of including the response compromises the public participation outcome by prejudicing the person subject to the impeachment process uh, through infringement of his rights to fair administrative action and the right to a fair hearing under Article 47 and 50 of the Constitution. These are substantial questions arising out of this impeachment process. The question whether the current parliament is properly constituted and thus incapable of carrying out the impeachment process in the light of Supreme Court Advisory Opinion No. 2 of 2012 was also highlighted. Finally, that notwithstanding the voting in terms of numbers in both the National Assembly and the Senate on the impeachment motion, if the jurisdiction of the court under Article 165.3 extends to interrogating the material relied upon under Article 45 and Article 145 so as to determine if the direction to support the allegations was established either in the National Assembly or the Senate or both. I find that given the extensive nature of these proceedings, starting from the National Assembly all the way to the Senate and the massive public interest of the matters generated, it would require the mind of more than one judge to determine. In any case, it is, only the, it is not only the test of novelty that determines the consideration of the constitution of a bench, as courts do not exist to, inter, to, to serve the intellectual stimulation of elitists, but to serve the public in matters of great concern to them, and this one, the, and this one is one of those rare occasions that the court should arise to the occasion and serve the public with all, this, with all the resources that it can possibly summon. And in my view, despite stiff opposition by the respondents, it is my considered opinion that these petitions raise weighty constitutional questions that fall under Article 163, B and D2. Hence, I am persuaded to refer them to the Chief Justice for an for parliament of a bench. The lead petition shall be petition number E522 of 2024. The rest to be funded alongside this file to the Chief Justice are petition number E508 of 2024, E525 of 2024, and E506 of 2024. So that is the decision of the court.